What's firecracking is your girl fireworks here with another video and I wanted to show you guys how my hair looked after doing this wash and go. If you want to see how I got it, stay tuned. So I'm here just doing a little voiceover because I didn't want to talk too much in this video. But I want to explain for the first few clips I am uh, oil in my scalp with Jamaican black castor oil. It has um, a peppermint oil in it. So I do that with my scalp. And then after that, I go in with some coconut oil and pre-poo in sections. I either do this hours before washing or a day before washing my hair. You see that it was in desperate need of a wash. I had a whole bunch of gel build up. <laughs> then I go with some tea tree oil for my edges so I can help stimulate growth because they're very sensitive. Then I put this plastic bag over my head and get on a dryer if it's the same wash day. If it's not the same wash day, I just put oil in my hair and call it a day. I shampoo with the same shampoo all the time. <laughs> then I go in with a different conditioner, which I had already shampooed my hair. And now I'm going in to deep condition. And the rest is self-explanatory. I will leave all the products in the description box. Hoping you love rain down on me. Yeah. But like this weather, you keep on changing. It ain't never what you say it's gonna be. Guess it's all on me. But through the lows, I find my highs. Valley peaks and ocean wide. In the sky, two hearts collide. Never thought this love would die. Oh, tables turn, bridges burn. Lesson learned. But I hope you find somebody. Then I will try my new diffuser um, and my little concentrator on my uh, new blow dryer. But uh, this is how it's looking. And I will show you guys um, what I'm going to do next in the next clip. So see you guys in the next clip. Okay, so it's been about 10 hours now and my ends are dry, but my roots are pretty damp. So I'm gonna try to go with my new blow dryer that I got that came with a diffuser um, attachment and a concentrator. I'm see if I can get it dry in the roots and also stretched out. So take that off. or 
somewhat dry. I'm going to try to stretch it out a little more. Be concentrated. So I'm going to keep it warm and keep it on wall. But I suppose your vision was lost. It was just you and I. We run and do or die. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing of the past. Huh? I never treated you bad. So, let me show you guys how it's looking. It's actually kind of cute. I wouldn't wear it all the time because I feel like. Uh, They'll be putting heat damage to my hair. If I would wear my hair in a shrunken state, if it was to my shoulders, <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. I'm downplaying it, but it's actually cute. Yeah, it's kind of cute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it. Since I'm gonna go to sleep, um, I guess I'm gonna stretch it even more with uh, the bandage. So. Let's do that. Wait. It's funny how I started off, then things change now. Once the man of your dreams, you look at me the same now. And I can't blame you. This is how I wear my hair all day today. Kind of like it is this style, rather than partly. I mean, it's long, but it ain't as long as I want it to be. Two wear this hairstyle. Unless I like really stretch it out and I don't want to do that or I don't want to, I don't want to try to force it, you know. So all I did was take my um, bands out. I parted my hair just a little bit in the center and I put bobby pins down so it could lay like that on both sides. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give me some tips. Leave some comments below, like the video, subscribe, and just like I always, you are popping. Okay, this is day two here, and I'm not even gonna lie to you, I like it. Like, I did the banding method, and that's pretty much all I did, and I took it down today, and it's a lot bigger, which how I like my hair to be bigger. Um, I actually like the little definition with it, so, you know how it's looking. And I'm about to go to work, so I'll catch you guys in the next video. This time I'm really going off fireworks.